In this session, we're going to look at working with text boxes and turning them into numerical numbers. We know from previous tutorials that text boxes only work with text, so we need to be able to convert text into a numerical number that we can perform mathematical calculations with. So, so far we've got an interface that we've set up. We're going to be working with the TXT input box and TXT output box. This is of a type input, and also we have a dynamic text box to result back. So first of all, what we need to do is take information in from the TXT input box. And to do that, we're going to go into our code. And I've already pre-set up a skeletal in here. So we have our BTN start with an event listener that we'll call fmain. fmain's here, has an event. So it picks up and hands over the click. And when it does that, it's going to trace out um, in main. Now to check that this is working, we're going to run the program. Click on start, which should get an output at F main in the developer window, which we have. So we know our button is working correctly. So let's move on. So one of the very first things we need to do is we need to take some information in from our text box. And to do this, we need to take the information and place it into a variable. We're going to be using a global variable. Now, a global variable allows any function to see this variable. So therefore, it's global and everyone can look at it. And we're going to clear a variable called s for string, and we're going to give it the name of char number. And it's going to be of type string. Now, the reason for this is when we read from a text box, it actually comes in as text, which is a string. And a string is a list of char, which is a list of characters. So if I put the number 21 in there, it's going to treat it not as the number 21, but the character 2 and the character 1 sitting next to each other. And we won't be able to perform any mathematical calculations on that. So we're going to investigate that to start with. So we're going to bring in the information. So I have a storage area now, a variable in memory called s char number. And that's going to be equal to txt input box. And we want the text portion of the input box. And then I want to trace that out. So what I should get, so what should, so what should happen in the program now is when I click the start button, it will call the main program. We've already opened up an area in mem memory called SCHAR. It will then trace out the in main. It will then take what's in the text box and store that in S uh, char number. And then I want to tra uh, trace out S char number to ensure that we've got the information in memory. So let's run this program. So I'm going to put a number in here, 21. Hit start. And we see that in main and it traces out 21. So I know that this information now is sitting in a variable. So once that's occurred, now we can actually prove the fact that it's not really a mathematical number. So I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to say, um, let's declare another variable we can use. So we're going to have var, and we're going to put um, n number, and it's going to be of type number. So when we use a type number, that means it's going to be a real number. So it can have decimal points, etc., positive and negative numbers. So if I take our n number and let that equal to the s char number, say, times, using the star, 2. So if I put 21 in there and then times, it should come out as 42. But when I run this, you notice that the button's not doing too well. And also, if I have a look in compiler error here, so we can't put a string inside of a number. So we've got a, what's called a data mismatch. So to change that, what we need to do is actually convert s char, uh, char number so we need to convert s char number into a number. So we can actually say now n number is equal to, and because the programmers know this was going to occur a lot, they actually wrote a function for us, and it's pass int. What that means is pass the integer. And then we can actually say pass the integer s number. So it's saying s char number, pass it to an integer and put it in n number. So then if I go n number, times 2 and store that back in n number and trace out n number, we should actually see now that the answer should be, if we use 21, it should be come out as 42. So let's run the program now. We've got no errors. 
I'm going to put 21 in my test information, hit start, and it comes out 21, we've times it by 2, 42. So let's just change that and put 10. So if we times 10 by 2, it should give us 20, which it does. So we can see our test data is actually working and the outputs are correct. Now the only problem we've got now is text boxes can only hold text. So a dynamic text box can only hold a text characters or chars or strings or strings of chars. So therefore I can't put a number like n number back into that text box. So what I'm going to do at the moment, I'm just going to pick this up at them here and I'm just going to move this down into my processing. So I've converted it in my processing, I've times it by two in my processing and I've traced it out my processing. So this way my processing is segmented in my code. So my input's coming through the top, then I process the information and then I can output the information. Now to output, we want to uh, talk to TXT output box and we want to talk to the text part of the output box. And what we want to have that equal to is actually n number. Now to prove that it doesn't work, I'm going to just run this at the moment and you notice the errors there. And if we check the compile error again, um, we've got that uh, type number again which is a data mismatch. So we close this. So what we need to do is actually convert the number back to text. Now we used the function before called pass int to convert this in or s character number into a number. And what we can actually do is use another method. So we use a full stop and we go to string bracket bracket. So to string bracket bracket means turn n number to a string and place this in the text portion of the textbook output box. To run this, so we should be able to enter in 21, it should times it by 2 to give us 42 and display that in the maths text box, which it does. So that's how we take a char from the screen, convert it into a number so we can perform mathematical operations and then convert the result of that mathematical operation back to a char again or to a string and display this in a text box.